And here we are on page two. So let's go ahead and tap on the plus sign again at the top menu bar to access some more media. And let's try out those comic panels. So go ahead and tap on panels. And now you'll see you have several different choices or styles of panels that you can add to your page. So choose whichever layout that you want to explore for right now. I think I'm just going to go with the four panels. I'll tap on that to select it and it automatically adds those comic book style panels to my page. In each of the panels you can see that you have two buttons. You have the little photo frame which allows you to access photos in your photo library and you have the little camera icon which as you probably guess allows you to activate the camera app on your iPad and take a photo live to add to your book. I'm going to go ahead and add some of the photos from that photo album to these comic book panels. So I'm going to tap on the little photo frame icon in the center of those panels to access my photos. Now you could go ahead and add some photos from your camera roll or moments. I already have that album, so I'm going to scroll down to the album and tap on that to access those photos that I've already organized. Now since this is an all about me book, I think I want to include some photos about things that I like to do. So first of all, I'm going to tap on the little photo that shows that I'm a personalized learning specialist. Now you can see that photo is a little bit too big for this panel, so I'm going to put my thumb and my finger on the screen there and I'm going to just kind of pinch on that photo until it fits inside of the frame the way that I want. I can move that photo around on the page if I wanted to and adjust it up and down or sideways. Again, I could really zoom in, I could put this diagonally, I could do all sorts of things just by using my thumb and my index finger to kind of pinch and stretch on that image. I think I'm going to leave it right there though. Maybe I'll move it up a little bit to add some text to the bottom of that. I'm going to tap on the photo frame in the next panel to add another photo. Again, I'm going to go back to that album. I like to do a lot of things outside, like hiking, camping, so I'm going to tap on a photo about hiking. And then I'll tap on the photo frame in the next panel. And again, I'll go back to the album again. Tap on the album. And again, I'm going to find another photo. I also like to kind of find unusual things um, when I'm out and about, like this tree that someone carved um, with kind of this crazy statue thing on it. It was kind of cool. And again, I could adjust that however I want to within this panel. So you can see those panels do a really nice job of kind of organizing or making a nice collage of images. You can also add text. Um, we'll add some text here in a minute. Okay, and in my last panel, I'm going to add another photo. Um, you can go ahead and use the live camera if you want to. I'm going to use that in a minute though. So for right now, again, I'm going to tap on that photo frame to access my photos. And then I'm going to scroll down to my album. I'm going to tap on that album to access those photos. And here I'll add a photo of one of my little doggies. I like to play around with my iPhone and take pictures um, when I'm outside. And also of my little doggies. They don't always like to be photographed though. And again, I'm just going to kind of stretch that image with my thumb and my finger so that it fills up that panel. And then I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so let's add some text to this page to kind of explain since it's an all about all about me book. So I'll tap on the plus sign in that top menu bar. And again, I'm going to go with that stylized text for right now. And I'm going to use the caption style text. So here I'm going to type personalized learning specialist. And when you're finished typing the text in your text box, go ahead and tap on the done button in the top right corner. And you can see that was added to the page. Then just use your finger to drag that text around and reposition it. Drag out the caption box if you want. And again, while it's selected, you can go to the inspector button in the top right corner of the menu bar and you can use that slider to make that text a little bit larger if you want. 
maybe something like that. Again, you can change the color of the text there, the style of the font, the alignment, all sorts of things on that inspector box. When you're finished changing the formatting of your text, go ahead and tap anywhere on the page to close up that formatting box.